hello boys and girls welcome to church i hope you had a wonderful week and i'm wishing you to have a better week this week um today we'll be talking about how jesus appeared to his disciples but before we do that let us pray so close your eyes and bow your heads in jesus name Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for our daddies and our mommies. We thank you for our sisters, brothers, our friends and family. Lord, you never teach us to understand our what we are going to learn today in class. And let us show it in our behaviors and exhibit that we truly believe that Jesus is alive. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You know what next, guys? We are going to go to praise and worship. Pick up your dancing shoes as I always say and let's enjoy this praise and worship. Get ready!
did you enjoy the songs? I'm sure you did. They were really nice. Before we get into our topic, let's listen to our friend that is going to read the memory verse for today. Luke 24 verse 41. Still they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. Hope you enjoyed um, the memory verse our friend just read to us. Um, today's text will be coming from Luke 24, 36 to 43. And I read, while Jesus' disciples were talking about what had happened, Jesus appeared and greeted them. They were frightened and terrified because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus said, why are you so frightened? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands and my feet and see who I am. Touch me and find out yourself. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones as you see I have. After Jesus said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. The disciples were so glad and amazed, they could not believe it. Jesus then asked them, do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it as they watched. As you remember last week, we talked about the road to Emmaus. Why we shouldn't be afraid or confused, we should always seek the face of God. We should also always ask God for direction in everything that we do before uh, we get frightened or get worried about nothing. Um, today's topic, we're going to talk about um, the disciples, how God appeared to his disciples. For those people that, the disciples that doubted him and thought he was dead and gone, but um, he actually rose from the dead. That's one of the reasons why we celebrate Easter. Before I dive into that and explain that part of uh, the story, we're going to talk about Mr. Ripley, a man that had a son. His son was sick and he took his son to the doctors. When they got to the doctor, they found out that a tooth was going under his foot. Can you believe that? Can you just imagine that? I don't even believe that. You know how ridiculous that sound. Another person was um, James Cook. He had chickens and laid an egg that was squared shape. Now, I have seen a round shaped eggs. Of course, all eggs are like spare in shape. We've seen brown ones, we've seen white ones, we've seen spotted ones, but no one has ever seen a square shaped egg. Because I would like to see that too, because that's it seems impossible. The same thing in the Bible. Remember the disciples, they were doubting that Jesus Christ was alive. Jesus Christ had to show himself, appear to them. Then they believed that he had risen from the dead. Even when he told them that he was going to rise from the dead, they were doubting so what the basic of the story is just appear to his disciples so that they don't doubt his word so even you kids even the boys and girls um i'm not calling you kids i don't think you are babies or anything you know but even when you don't see god when people say can you see jesus can you see god and you go like uh and you begin to doubt no jesus is alive he rose from the dead. That's one of the reasons why we celebrate Easter. He's alive and living in heaven with God. And he sees us and is with us in everything that we do. That was why he had to appear to his disciples so to stop any kind of doubt and so that they can tell the world that he's alive, he's risen. There's no tombstone for Jesus. You can't go anywhere and say that this is where Jesus was buried. Never. There's no such story. He lives and he lives forever. I want you to know that. Now, guys, let's watch this video. It's a video about the story I just told you now, how Jesus appeared to his disciples. When we come back, we're going to talk more about how Jesus appeared to his disciples. Enjoy. Thank you, Bedbug Bandoliers, for that splendid springtime song. It gave all the other bedbugs time to get organized for one more sensational story. Hey, Buzzer, what did I miss? I was just introducing the last story, Sparky. Where have you been? Just taking a breather. <laughs> right. Well, whenever you're ready, you can tell everyone the name of our story. I'd be glad to, Buzzer. It's called Doubting Thomas. Thomas ran along the street. Thomas had some friends to meet. All his friends would have to wait. Thomas now was running late. Hurry up, Thomas! Everyone is waiting! Thomas felt quite sad that day. Sad that Jesus went away. Thomas thought that he would cry. Why did Jesus have to die? I miss Jesus, too. Thomas kept on running fast. Thomas met his friends at last. 
But his friends did not look sad. What has made my friends so glad? What did we miss? You're not going to believe it. Thomas, Thomas, Peter said. Jesus is no longer dead. He was here. We saw him leave. Thomas said, I don't believe. I told you he wouldn't believe it. Thomas, Thomas, Peter cries. Will you only trust your eyes? If I touch his hand and sleeve, Thomas said, then I'll believe. It's true, Thomas. Jesus is alive. One week later, once again, Thomas met with all his friends. Thomas still was quite upset. He had not seen Jesus yet. Poor Thomas. He still looks sad. Thomas sees a flash of light. Then another super sight. Jesus stands there, tall and wise. Thomas can't believe his eyes. I believe, I believe. Thomas, Thomas, Jesus cried. Touch my hands, my feet, my side. Do you doubt if you don't see? Thomas, please believe in me. Now Thomas is happy. He knows Jesus is alive. I believe you're right. I hope you liked our story. It's one of the bedbug's favorites. Thomas learned the good news that Jesus is risen. And now you all know the good news too. I like to share the good news with everyone I meet. Sharing the good news of Easter is fun, isn't it, Sparky? You'd better believe it. Guys, I hope you all stay tuned and watch the videos. From the video, you can see how the disciples locked themselves in. They were so afraid of the Jewish soldiers. They were afraid that Jesus Christ was crucified and dead. And um, especially doubting Thomas, as they say in one of the stories, Thomas was doubting so much that when they told him, when his fellow disciples told him that they had seen Jesus, he was like, no, I have to see him myself. I have to see him myself. That's why they call him doubting Thomas. And when he saw Jesus himself, and he, he requested that he wanted to touch Jesus, he wanted to see his hands, he wanted to see his legs, and Jesus showed him his hands and his legs, just for him to know that he is risen. He is the reason for that we celebrate. He's the reason why we celebrate Easter and he has risen from the dead. And when Thomas saw him, every other disciples, they all believed and they went out and told the world that Jesus Christ has risen and is alive. So that is what I'm trying to tell you guys too. Jesus Christ is he has risen, he's alive, he's in heaven, he sees us, he's with us all the time. Always know that and always remember that. Tell your friends, everyone, your family, anyone that is doubting and say, no, I can tell you for a fact that Jesus is risen and is alive and living. Now let's hear the moment verse from our friend once again. 24 verse 41. Still they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. Welcome back guys. I hope you all recited the memory verse with our friend. Um, I'm just going to go back and talk about what we learned today. Today we learned that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and he forgave us for not believing. He forgave the disciples for not believing, believing that he rose up and they were doubting him. So he, I want you to always know that Jesus Christ always forgives us when we sin and when we ask for forgiveness. He always forgives us. I also want you to know that Jesus Christ lives with us through the Holy Spirit. So when you pray and you say you need the Holy Spirit, just know that that's your requesting for Jesus Christ to also be with you. With this, we have come to the end of our lesson today. I want to leave you with this. I want you to always know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Before we go, let's bow our heads and pray. In Jesus' name, Father in heaven, we thank you for today's lesson. Thank you, O oh God, for sending your son to die on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, O oh God, that he rose and he lives with you in heaven. Thank you that he is always around us and living with us through the Holy Spirit. We believe this and we're going to tell our friends and family. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for a wonderful Easter. Thank you for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Enjoy your week. Have a lovely, lovely week. And see you next week. Bye-bye.